Hi there! Learning Flutter easy with us. In this complete and step-by-step -step tutorial, you will learn how to implement image picker and image cropper in very easy way. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe. So, this is our initial project. Initial and final source code links are in the description. To add an image, we tap here in the circle area or the button. Let's start implementing of image picker. In this class, we need global file variable. And we create a function which receives an image source. As you know, image source can be gallery or camera. This image source is from image picker package. Let's install it. Go to installing and copy this and put it into your pubspec yaml file. Save it and go back. Go to readme and here we have some configuration for iOS only. We must add the following keys to our info.p list. You can find the keys in the readme file if you have downloaded the initial project. Go to iOS runner and inside it there is info.p list file. Just above the dict, pass the keys. Save and close. Now we can import it. While importing file library, Select this dart IO. So, let's continue. We call pick image function and by the given source we can get the image. Then we check whether it's equal to null or not. If it's equal to null, we just type return here to terminate the function. If it's not equal to null, then we get the file by the image pass. After that, we set it to the global image variable. And for security reason, we wrap the code with try and catch block. Now, we can set the image. Here, we use ternary operator. If it's equal to null, you see the text. Otherwise, image, instead of the text. Now, we implement callback function to call it. We call it from the onTape property. So, I implement it right here. And I provide the select option screen with that on tape callback. Now, we can call this function providing the image source. On this callback, we provide the image source as a gallery. And next one is image source dot camera. Now I explain what we did so far. By pressing this button, we call model bottom sheet. And then by pressing this browse gallery button, we call this on tape. And that on tape callback calls the pick image function. Now let's check it. So, everything is working perfect. Now we implement crop image function. By the way, if you consider this tutorial useful, please like the video and comment your opinion. Thank you for all. First, we install its package. No configuration is required for iOS. And we must add this activity into our Android manifest file. Go to Android, App, SRC, Main. And here is that file. And just under this activity, we passed it. That's all. Now we implement crop image function, which it requires image file. After we crop the image, it returns the cropped image. And we call this crop image function just above the set state function. We all done. Again, stop and rerun the app because we added new activity and test it. Perfect! Don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends. Thank you for watching.